Hello, Kula here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I had a little bit of fun with my makeup today. Usually I like to do gold on my lips and, um, cold on my lips. Gold on my eyes, pink on my lips. I decided to reverse it, pink on my eyes, gold on my lips. I do kind of like how this turned out. My lip color ended up being a little bit warm. I tried to use my uh, NYX Wicked Lippy in the color Mischievous. You can actually wear it. It's opaque enough to wear on its own. It's a gorgeous gold lipstick. And it made me look a little too washed out, so I tried to layer it. I had to layer over like six different lipsticks before I finally settled on Snob just because it warmed it up way too much so it looked kind of weird with the more cool eye look. So I'm hoping this kind of works out. I'm sorry if it looks kind of weird but just kind of experimenting. Uh, but for this video I have for you guys my January 2015 Ipsy bag. This just came today along with my Birchbox. I just made a Birchbox video. Don't know which order I'm going to post them which is kind of why I'm doing the makeup intro in both of them. Um, Ipsy is a $10 month subscription service. They send you five-ish samples each month and then you get a bag that goes with it each time. Um, Ipsy tends to do more full sizes than Birchbox. Birchbox and Ipsy are kind of the two that get compared because they are the same price range. Um, but Ipsy lately has been up and down for me. Birchbox has been pretty solid. I do like Birchbox. Um, you just have to accept the fact that they're going to be pretty much all samples, but you do get the rewards where with Ipsy, like you get full size products, but they tend to be from the same brands over and over again. I have gotten some really, really awesome stuff in Ipsy, including some full size nail polishes. And so it is definitely worth it. I mean, people love Ipsy. Ipsy's been around for a while now. It's just, I'm just going to say it. I am kind of really disappointed in this one's bag. Um, so first off, like, I think the bag itself is kind of ugly this month. Um, it's a two-tone, like, a cream on this side, dark blue, and then, like, an orange zipper and an orange inside, and it's textured, and I, it just doesn't really appeal to me that much. Um, but to each person their own, like, some people probably think this bag is really, really cute, and some people think the bags I think are cute or not cute, so it's kind of a personal opinion thing. Uh, but then, like, with the products in it... You, you'll see. Uh, but the theme this month is Fresh Start, so that's kind of fun. You know, January is the skincare month, the start over, the detox, kind of that's what everyone's doing right now. And so it just kind of talks about in the back. You, if you post this on Instagram and tag Ipsy, you could win a free year of Ipsy, so that's pretty cool. I do like how they're doing the photos again. The photos are really nice. I don't actually know who these people are. I believe they're like bloggers. I think I might know who this is, I just don't know her name. But <laughs> I'm just not really into into that kind of celebrity kind of realm of bloggers, but I like the pictures better than the graphics. I think the pictures are kind of cool. So in here we did get five samples. I'm going to go in the order they were in my glam room just because that's how I wrote things down. It's just easier that way. So we're going to start with this Hikari eyeliner in the color Storm. I've heard of the brand Hikari before. I've seen it in other like subscription boxes. I think Ipsy has given it out before. They give out the full size lipsticks and everything. And so I was aware of the brand. I was actually kind of excited to try this. I was looking at other people's pictures on Instagram of their Ipsy bags, and I saw Hikari stuff, and I was like, oh, I really want to try Hikari. Like, I haven't been able to yet. So I was initially happy to see this in the box. This is uh, what the eyeliner is. It's an automatic mechanical eyeliner. Uh, everyone got the same color, which is Storm. It is a slate gray color. It's supposed to have a smooth formula, but... I don't know if, like, mine dried out. I read, like, the comments, too, on Ipsy, and everyone else kind of felt the same way. They felt like it wasn't really creamy at all. Like, it's patchy. It, it's, it goes on dry. Like, I don't think this is going to go well on my Like, this is just a light touch, and you can see, like, it's really kind of patchy. And I don't know if these are older or what, because this was sealed. Like, it was in the box, but this itself had a plastic seal on it, so I'm not sure if it's just old. Um, it's supposed to be able to be smudged out, but when you smudge it, it just goes away like that. And the packaging feels really cheap. Like, this feels really loose and kind of janky, to be honest. Like, it just, it doesn't feel like a high-end product. Like, it feels like, I, I could probably buy, like, Essence or something, and it would be the same quality or better than this product. It would feel that way. I don't know if this is the full size or not. I didn't list a weight for the full size on the website. I mean, it looks full size to me, or if not full size, nearly full size. And the full size is $13, which is a lot for this. Like, especially if you can get, like, a Stila one or a different kind of mechanical pencil for, like, $20. So that was the first kind of disappointment. Uh, this next one's probably the highlight of this bag. Um, it is the um, Echo... Eco Beauty by the La Fresh Group. So I think it is La Fresh. I don't think it's LA Fresh if it's the same brand that I'm thinking of. Um, this is the Be Good Good Day Day Moisturizer, Ample Hydration, Fresher and Happy Looking Skin. At first I was like, well, is this a foil packet? But I don't think it is. I mean, like, it has a reclosable top. I think it's just an eco-friendly kind of packaging, and that's kind of cool. Like, 
just think about like all the plastic bottles you throw away like from body wash and moisturizer and things like that and it's kind of disturbing so it's nice that it's actually in this like packet here I think that's actually kind of cool um let's see here it has collagen producing peptides hyaluronic acid cucumber aloe vitamins b c and e it has an anti-aging botanical complex consisting of maki berry i think is how you say it licorice root ginkgo leaf grapeseed and hickory bark i can't read my own handwriting <laughs> Um, it, it's really cool. And it's just a nice day moisturizer. I do like these. Um, I actually recently purchased like a sunscreen just because I have so many of these kind of like day moisturizers that don't have SPF in them. So this is definitely a good use. I'm definitely interested in this. Uh, the full size is 1.7 ounces for $40, which is kind of pricey for a day cream. But I mean, it's, it's comparable to like higher end brands. It's just, I never really associated this brand like the La Fresh brand with being higher end but maybe it is like I don't have much experience with it so this 0.5 ounce sample this is worth $12 right here if you go ounce by ounce so that is definitely intriguing um but yeah probably the highlight of my bag so definitely excited to give that a try next up we have this Malin and Goats I don't know if I'm going to say that right but it is the Mojito Lip Balm uh, it is the uh, Mojito flavor I haven't even like smelled this yet Oh, it is definitely like a mojito -y. It's totally clear. Yeah, it's like a minty, kind of like minty, limey kind of smell. Mostly mint. I get mostly mint from it. I'm not a big fan of mint, so right off the bat, this might not be good for me. I really just, I don't know, like, I like mint and gum, but mint and anything else, I just, I can't really, like, deal with it. Uh, it, like I said, it's a lip gel. It apparently is scientifically blended to restore and replenish your lips. It is color and paraben free. And the like ingredient it has in it is hydrogenated polyisobutane fatty acids. So I don't know what that means, but apparently it's super hydrating. I do need hydrating lip products, like even like the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask like is not enough for me. Like people say like they'll put it on at night and they'll wake up and it's still there. Like I put it on at night and I wake up like three hours later and it's absorbed fully. So I don't know what that says about me and my dry skin. Um, this is not the full size. The full size is 0.35 ounces and it's $12, so it's definitely a pricier lip balm. Like, I think that's getting up there to, like, Jack Black kind of lip balm and things like that. And this 0.2 ounce sample is worth $6.90. So, that is pricey. I do definitely want to give it a try. I'm just not, not a fan of the mint. It's just, it's weird. It's, like, not even, it's not a sweet mint, so I guess that's okay, but it's, like... I don't know. It's it's like a medicinal mint. Uh, we'll try. We'll see. <laughs> Next up, uh, this is the Mana Cotter Cosmetics Sheer Glow. This is like a sheer, what is it? A shimmer lotion. That's what it is. The shimmer lotion. Um, it is a universal shade. Just this one pinky shade it comes in. Uh, it is supposed to give you a youthful glow and a dewy finish. You can use it on your face or your body. They kind of suggest a couple of things you can do with it. Uh, you can mix it in with your foundation, which I think is really cool. I do that sometimes with my Becca shimmer stuff because it's just, <laughs> it's hard to use that stuff up. Even that little tiny bottle of it, this is a big gloop of it. And then you kind of just spread it out. And it just gives a really nice, like, pinky kind of glow. It's very pretty. Very sheer. I do like this. Um, and I was saying you can mix the foundation, you can use it as a highlighter on its own, you can mix it in your body lotion, and this is probably the other product in this bag that I think is pretty cool. So I'm definitely going to give this guy a try. Uh, the full size is one ounce for $29, and this .27 ounce is worth about $7.80. So again, like, kind of a pricey sample. And then finally, uh, this product. Um, this is the Pacifica eyeshadow Pacifica natural mineral coconut eyeshadow and when I saw the spoiler for this I kind of lowered my expectations for this bag we've gotten a Pacifica eyeshadow duo before and it was so cheap like at first I was like I'm gonna give this the benefit of the doubt like this isn't so bad if you put it over primer like it'll be okay I was being really polite and nice to it I think like this like this top part kept breaking off of it and then I just put it in my makeup, like, I have, like, a box filled with, like, my loose stuff, because I don't know why I'm very disorganized. But, um, I was depotting a lot of things, and I was like, oh, I'll just depot it, maybe then I'll use it more often. I took it out of my makeup box, and it just, everything crumbled everywhere. Like, I hadn't touched it, it hadn't been dropped, I hadn't moved it, I don't know what happened to it, but it just, 
broke everywhere and I was like well that was stupid so when I saw that this was gonna be like the feature thing and everyone's gonna get one of these I felt apprehensive um you could have gotten ethereal or treasure I ended up with treasure um the little like name on the back is tore off it actually came in a box here so it came in this box they don't sell these shadows individually it even says on the website that these shadows are only available in like the palettes and I don't even know where you can buy Pacifica makeup. I've seen like the body care products. I do like their body care products. I think they should just stick to lotions and like fragrances because they do that well. They don't do makeup well. And like I was trying to get it out of here and there's like all this like extra glue like stuck in there and it was stuck on the back of the name tag and like I couldn't get it out and I didn't want to like, tear open the box just because I didn't know what was going on. So like all this extra glue, I don't know what it's from, or I don't know if they like glued it in the box or what's going on, but this is Treasure. It's the color I got. Uh, you could have got Ethereal, which I think is more like a gray color. This is more of like a, like a neutral, shimmery, copper brown kind of color. Um, it is a pressed mineral eyeshadow with coconut water. These actually are a lot better quality, at least like swatching wise and everything. Like it, they are very creamy and they do seem to blend well. I think it's because they're more shimmery. But it, I mean, it does swatch well. So this, this is definitely an improvement over the one we got before. I'll give it that. Um, so yeah, pressed mineral eyeshadow with coconut water for a velvety cream-like finish. It is formulated without phthalates, parabens, carmine, which is crushed bugs, if you don't know. That's what makes red color. Uh, beeswax, lanolin, mineral oils, propylene glycol, petroleum, and FD and C colors. There's no animal testing, it is gluten free, it is 100% vegan, and it is cruelty free. But I don't really know why they have to say cruelty free and animal testing separately because that's kind of inclusive <laughs> of each other. Um, like I said, the packaging, I don't know what that excess glue was, it was kind of gross. I have no idea what the value of this is. These are available only in the palettes. This is in this big palette. It is called the. Um, Solar Complete Color Mineral Palette. It has like six eyeshadows. I think it has three lip colors and two blushes or something. It's $32. And I, I didn't really like, there wasn't an ounce listing, so I couldn't figure out like the value per ounce of this product. So I have no idea what this is worth. But I, to me personally, this is worth a couple dollars at the very most. Um, but as I said, I mean, color wise and formula wise, it definitely feels better than the other ones. It's just the packaging still feels really cheap. So there's that. Um, so in total, in this box, I got four deluxe size samples. I'm counting the eyeshadow as a deluxe size sample because you can't buy that individually. And one potentially full size product in the eyeliner here. And without the shadow, without any value for the shadow, the total value of the box is $39.70. Which sounds really, really great. Like it sounds better than the value of my birch box, but I'm going to use the products in my birch box more than I'm going to use the products in this bag. So. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see how the February Ipsy bag is. I'm starting to feel a little iffy about Ipsy. I might just be getting bored of it. It might be hitting that year time frame where I just get bored, where I'm sick of seeing the same brands and the same products. So we'll see what happens. This was kind of a sad bag. I have higher hopes for next month. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.